to bed, sir. Hey, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Ashok. And uh, uh, it was a wonderful uh, uh, lecture by uh, Dr. Kloss. I, I think it was a very thorough thing. Uh, but I have a, a point of difference with you and in its context of execution is one. And uh, that is where you uh, suggested the radical change. You know, change is always has to be a fair, it has to be a permanent thing. It has to be progressive. So it cannot be radical. Yes, radical in the long term, if you are referring to that context, yes, it is okay. But it has to be progressive. We cannot, we cannot in education system or academic system, discard old people uh, like the one you had given an example of uh, in the corporate sector. So they have to be actually uh, phased out and uh, with an induction of a fresh mind. So therefore, the radical change uh, will be a long term barrier and it has to be a progressive. One is this thing. Uh, if you can answer this, then I will go to my second question. The situation is uh, perhaps I was not uh, really clear enough with what I explained and said. I, I agree with you. You cannot simply uh, kick out everybody and say, uh, take the axe. That's it. Goodbye. Forget about everything which you have known. No, that is not the way. This is why we will have two universities. We will have the old one. And I do not mean old in form of old fashioned. We will have the one which is as it is. And we will have the second one. We are now, I have outsourced everything to a new place, which will even be in a different country. The old one will remain in uh, Switzerland as it was, but the new one will be in a different country where A, we have the better uh, regulatory framework available for this online uh, situation and where we only will have those who want to join us and accompany us on this new journey and will then take on those who are uh, missing or the knowledge which we need in addition to complete and complement what we need. So you have this phased out situation, let me say we, we will run this place as we have it uh, established in Switzerland as long as it is ever possible so that mm -hmm. everybody can continue this way. But the radical side and there we, we do not place any restrictions or boundaries. It is experimental, if you like, will be separate, will be completely on its own shoe or on its own way and in its very own responsibility. And we will say what will happen, how it will happen and if it will happen as it is expected today. Right, thank you. That, 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 that's, uh, I mean, I think we are in unison. The only thing was a little misunderstanding on my side and maybe uh, your clarification has done that job. Now, the second question is more important. This is in continuation with the assessment part. Uh, here I again agree with you 100% that innovative radical changes are required. Uh, assessment, what we have done is I would like to share my experience of my university because yes, I'm the vice chancellor. I'm the vice chancellor of one of the universities. We actually had uh, customized the Moodle uh, uh, learning management system uh, and uh, you know that the, it has a very, very comprehensive assessment system. Uh, the only thing was that uh, we wanted it to be a 100% uh, cheating free uh, thing. And you know, uh, if you just uh, believe in honor code, uh, that would not do the job. So we had instituted about 21 anti-cheating bias, which uh, um, uh, had to be uh, connected with the latest technologies, like where you could actually disable some of your keys so that you nobody can copy it, nobody can copy and paste it. While he is doing the exam, he cannot go on to any other uh, uh, URL or for that matter, any other site where, from where he can copy. Similarly, within the examination system itself, we had instituted like things like every student getting a separate paper within the paper and the questions were shuffled within the sh question uh, the, the choices were shuffled, so that sort of a thing. Similarly, uh, to, to make it more comprehensive, what we did was, we applied all rules of Bloom's taxonomy on the paper itself. We divided the paper in a proper uh, proportion, like 30 or 40% went to MCQs and multiple choice questions. 
the second part uh, went into the second part which is the the higher order thinking level uh, which is a formative level uh, where we gave them uh, four subjective questions short short questions which were checked through the ai and uh, obviously that reduced the load on the faculty and the last one was actually the psychomotor uh, part and that was a long question which was basically a very very research oriented now this completed the whole concept of what we usually do in a physical form also but the students were very happy as you said they have to be satisfied why they were happy on three occasions one that they felt very confident that if if they were good in the class they would do better one second was that the transparency of the paper itself Uh, they didn't know the paper uh, even if they were liked by some faculty members or not one was that secondly the result was given to them after about 1 hour of taking the exam which was a tremendous thing which used to take a week or maybe so to declare it third one was that they could see their answers and everything a record which was directly in front of them again a transparency issue so efficiency transparency actually this brought them in uh, Uh, into a confidence level with the technology as well as the uh, the the faith in the university so what actually i would cut it short that actually this has started giving them so much of confidence that in the final term which we we did this time we just finished about 4 days ago the result is already on its way and is going to be announced tomorrow just in 5 6 days which we used to take a month and above all 98% students attended the assessment which is a huge tremendous uh, attend um with with your presence here i can also offer uh, this this particular system and why i want to share this system with anybody and this is the collaborative effort we can offer uh, because you said teamwork is the answer in radical change so let's let's follow uh, the radical change and we offer this collaboration to anybody who wants this system to be evaluated or for that matter uh, improved and uh, collaborate I mean that's 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 I learned very very much in this your explanation and uh, I can tell you that is amazing and I'm really interested in in this form. That's great. That's great because you know as we as we collaborate things improve. Yeah. And thank you very much. It was wonderful uh, listening to you and we'll be in contact. Definitely. I I I'm really really I learned a lot now. Thank you. Okay